What's up, folks? This your boy, Darko. Welcome to another edition of Kindles and Kicks. All right, so I'm still playing catch up on some tags. I was tagged in this a couple of weeks ago by my boy Chaz over at Booker's Chaz. And the name of this tag is Off the Top of My Head. So basically, you have to answer 10 prompts with the first thing that comes to your head. This was a tag created by the library mouse Gina, who will be tagged in the description. All right, so let's get started. Question one, what was your favorite picture book as a child? The Bernstein Bears or Bernstein Bears, whatever, whatever it's called, the Bernstein Bears is the first picture books I can remember reading. I don't recall which one in the series, but I had quite a few of them as a kid and also probably Dr. Seuss, like Green Eggs and Ham and Cat in the Hat, like between Bernstein Bears and Dr. Seuss books are the first picture books that I remember reading as a kid. And I actually still have a few of them in my possession today. Not sure if I'll ever read them again. I don't see how that's likely, but hey, they still played a big part in my childhood. Question two is what book series did you love as a child? Um, now, well, of course, Harry Potter, but that was more in my teenage years. As a child, Goosebumps by R.L. Stein easily. Um, those books still play a significant part in my reading habits because I didn't even know I liked books so much until I started reading Goosebumps. And that was the beginning of my love for reading. So I owe a lot to Goosebumps. So definitely my favorite series as a child. Oh, and probably Encyclopedia Brown. I have no idea who the author of Encyclopedia Brown is, but yeah, Encyclopedia Brown and Goosebumps, who was who were that Goosebumps that's written by R.L. Stein. So yeah, Goosebumps and Encyclopedia Brown, favorite series as a child. Question three is the worst book you read or tried to read. <sighs> um, Fifty Shades of Grey. Easily, like there's not even any competition or any book that comes close to the hatred I feel for Fifty Shades of Grey. I only read the book because my very best friend, who I love dearly, wanted to start a book club. And I picked the first book and she picked the second. Okay, so I picked the help. Um, which, you know, we both, we both enjoyed and she picked 50 shades of gray. I was done within the first chapter, but I pursued and finished the book for my friend. And needless to say, that was the end of the book club because I had to tell her as much as I loved her, I could not read any more of this series because she wanted to read the rest of the books. No way. And it's not even the storyline as much as the prose. Like I'm not sure if EL James, I think that's her name ever took a writing class owns a thesaurus. I mean, the beautiful thing about language is that there are so many different ways to say one thing, but her writing was so repetitive and just so simple. And it was truly torture reading every single word of that book. So yeah, 50 Shades of Grey, hands down, worst book I've ever read in my entire life. Question four is your Favorite reading or book memory? I have to say, as a teenager waiting in line for 
the next Harry Potter book. Yo, like, that was so insane. And there will probably never be another book series that brings that kind of energy out of people. Standing in line, being excited, talking about the Harry Potter books with other fans who are just as excited as you are while you wait in line for hours so you could be one of the first to buy it and read it, talking about the previous books, what you think may happen in the next one, what you may want to happen. It is nothing like that in the world. I actually miss that experience because you don't see that anymore. I used to do that with video games a lot. Hey, staying in lines for the midnight releases. I mean, to me, that kind of energy is awesome, especially when sharing it with other people who are as big a fan of something as you are. And Harry Potter definitely drew that out of a lot of people. And I just have so many great memories of standing in front of this bookstore with a bunch of nuts like me, excited and eager to get their hands on the next Harry Potter release. And hey, that is by far my favorite um, book memory in my life. Question five is a book you loved as a movie. Um, I don't want to say Lord of the Rings because I've said that in a previous tag. So I'm going to have to go with V for Vendetta for this one. I love V for Vendetta, which is based on a, a graphic novel. Um, it's probably one of my top five favorite films of all time. I mean, I just, I love that movie. Um, I love... Uh, Natalie Portman, I think, and cannot remember the guy that played V, but he did a remarkable job. And I think it stayed pretty true to the graphic novel, which I read after seeing the film. And I thought they did a pretty great job with the source material. And I still love that movie. And the graphic novel has now become one of my favorite reads. So all around, V for Vendetta, is amazing. Question six is a book you wish they make into a movie. I'd have to go with Mistborn for that one. To me, the Mistborn trilogy would make three of the dopest films in fantasy history if done correctly. The magic system is sick. The action in it the characters like Vin and Kelsher and Sazed or Sazed, however you pronounce his name. I think if scripted right with the right director, the right production company, I think it could be a huge film franchise. And I know uh, Brandon Sanderson has had talks in the past with writers and producers to turn it into films but nothing has come of it. But I hope that he has more success in the future because I really look forward to some Mistborn films or at least a series because I think it would be sick. Question seven is a book character you would like as a friend. When I was a kid, at least a teenager, I always fantasized about going to Hogwarts and being cool with Dean and I connected to him because he was the only prominent black character in the series. And he even, he wasn't even that prominent, but enough to be noticed. And he was in every single book and played a role in all of Harry's stories and antics in a way. Um, and so I always, really liked when he was on the screen on the page. And I just had this imagination that, yo, I was in Hogwarts and like we were best friends. So yeah, I have to say Dean Thomas uh, because yeah, he was a big part of my teenage years. And hey, if I was in a Harry Potter world, I can see us still being buddies now, like all grown up. So yeah, Dean Thomas. Question eight is a place you want to visit because of a book you've read 
I really want to visit Europe. I've never been to Europe and 99% of fantasy that I read anyway is European fantasy. It takes place in Great Britain or is inspired by Great Britain or Ireland, you know, or, you know, Italy or the song for all bone, you know, France. I've never been to Europe before. And so all these books I read and consider that the setting, all the settings are in Europe. I would love to just visit some of these places so I can get a real feel of how it is to actually be present there and what it is about these places that inspires so many fantasy authors. So yeah, I definitely would like to visit Europe. I also would like to visit Hogwarts, you know, like in the one in Orlando, Florida. The last time I went to Orlando was probably a good 20 years ago. And at the time, there was no Hogwarts. I think the last time I went, they were building it. And as a Harry Potter fan, I do want to get there one day and just check it out to really get the experience. Because everyone I know who's visited it said it's awesome. All right, question nine is a nonfiction book you would recommend. And the most recent one I read is Viola Davis's memoir. And I'm sorry, I cannot remember the name of it at the moment. But yeah, I think her memoir is probably one of the most powerful nonfiction books I've ever read. Just her journey um, from rags to riches, her battles with confidence and emotional and physical illness and all she endured and overcame to become one of the best actresses in the history of Hollywood was quite um, an impactful story. And I think anyone who reads it will will get something from it. Um, even just knowing Viola Davis a little more and you can see why why she's such a powerful actress. Question 10 is if you could pick an author to hang out with all day, who would you pick and why? So I'm gonna have to go with Barack Obama. I mean, I know he's a former president, but he is technically an author. And that's just because he is someone I admire so much and he just seems so down to earth. And working in D.C., while I have not met him myself nor worked with him, I have met several people who have worked with him and several people on both sides of ideologies, Republicans, Democrats, independents, conservatives, liberals. Like I've met people from all over the political spectrum who have worked directly with Barack Obama and each and every one of them have nothing but great things to say about him. And I mean, people like aides and other elected officials and people who are like um, janitors and airplane mechanics who worked on Air Force One. Like I've talked with a lot of people who have worked in that arena and Barack Obama has been given some of the highest compliments by these people, not only for his intelligence and him being the first black president and all those accomplishments, but everyone always mentions his humility and how approachable he is and how funny he is. So if I could just hang out with him for one day, not only would it be an experience of a lifetime, but such a learning opportunity. So yeah, Barack Obama is definitely an author, just a general human being I would love to hang out with. So now I got to tag some people. I think I'm going to tag D. D from Through the Pages with D. I don't know if you've done this already, but I'm going to tag you. I'm going to tag Tom Orange because he did such a great job with the spring into adventure tag. So I'm gonna tag him as well. And those are my two people. 
And of course, anyone who sees this and wants to answer, please do. I think it's a great idea um, not to have to plan and kind of have to think off the cuff. That was off the top of my head tag. Hope you enjoyed my answers. And if you do the tag, I would love to hear yours. This is Darko, Kindles and Kicks. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace. Hello. This is Kayla.